Then I get shit here from jail. Praise the hate trying to stop my mail. Man, I want to start this out by giving a big shout out to Mobile, Alabama. Hunter Cone Brazier was saying he's going to get out in September, but I ain't heard nothing from him. I guess he's still locked down in the slammer. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you know anything about it. A couple months ago, Hunter Cone told the folks to relay this message to 1090. Brazier started out the conversation talking about another situation, but then he was like, The world hates you for keeping it real. And the other situation, y'all really put a rat before Brazier? Knowing I'm the realest? Tell white boy to look me up, do a background check on my history. And also, Honeycomb was addressing when everybody was saying that Finesse was snitching. And I ain't heard nothing else about it since then. But this just then. Social media influencer Lil Tiger on Instagram today, she had this to say. My abusive, racist, misogynistic, woman-beating father faked my death. And she said that because on August 9th, somebody posted on her Instagram that she was dead. And to come to find out her father lied about it, man, this shit is sad. And now Blueface having doubts that he's Christian's baby's dad. Cause there's been people saying she had it with another man. And I guess they're trying to say she put it on Blueface cause he's the one that got the bag. Black 100 said if she says his name one more time, he gonna tell the whole world why he don't mess with her. She accused your boy of being a homosexual and that made him mad. And speaking on the DMV, Fat Trail said he done beefing on the internet. He said he got way too many niggas in the penitentiary It'll be about 10 to 30 years before they be coming back Because there's too many people posting all their business on social media And there's too many niggas ratting Moneybag Yo gave white to be fat a new love boys necklace Glorilla said it's been 10 months since she wore her hair now natural And she don't like it cause it's nappy But she look pretty damn good like that actually So after 4-5 months of keeping my braids in Cause I told y'all I got the car for her I'm finna get a perm because I gotta get my hair braided and that shit hurt. And so, yeah, I'm not doing this again. And one more week is gonna be a one year anniversary since I had a perm. And who? I'm not finna keep the natural shit going. I'm gonna keep that bitch that don't got this carpet in. It's her I got. But yeah, this bitch is getting permed. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm gonna clock back in tomorrow and let y'all know how I go. Oh, well, she said four, five months. I said 10. I guess I exaggerated 10. Earlier, NBA Youngboy uploaded a video to a story of him playing with his kids. And then he took to Twitter to quote the lyrics from his new video. On there, he addressed Trap Lord Ross on his new song. In the video, he was riding a horse, but he didn't have no cowboy hats or no boots on. NBA Youngboy even went and pulled a stunt when he stood on it. Trap Lord Ross made a damn near six hour video on whether NBA Youngboy was a real killer or not. NBA Youngboy basically told them they gotta come see about them. And as soon as I figure out some more information on the situation, I'ma tell you about it. I had to make it look juicy for them. Trap to TV. Oh!